In this one, I'm going to show you how to make the logo woods, which I also showed in the examples in the presentation. Get the type tool, type in woods. It's just a spacing, I quite like this spacing right here. Um, with the selection tool, align to the center. So I'm going to show a tree in the triangle cutout of the W by first creating outlines. Uh, I can select the direct selection tool to see the control points. Now I can, I'm going to use the pen tool, which is maybe new for you, uh, but it's right here, and add control points. If you right click on these tools, by the way, you can have more options for, the, for those tools. So uh, uh, in the pen tool, I can, I'll go for add control point, and when I go close to the the line, the outline, I can see path in pink. And I'm gonna add maybe one and two control points here. Two more here. And two more right there. Now with the direct selection tool, I'm gonna select the top one here and move it outside and a bit to the bottom. The one here, I'll do the same. The one here, again the same. This one needs to go a bit more to the out. A bit of fine tuning. Uh, that looks about right, but I need it on the other side as well. And I don't want to do it again because I want it to be exactly at the same height. But what I can do is use the shape finder, the path finder, to uh, get this shape on the left here and mirror it to the right. So I'm gonna maybe get the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle. Let's give it a different color just for clarity. It looks about right. And these two shapes, I can intersect them but it produced no results for some reason. Now it works. Um, so I need to click on the W, Control X and Control V, Control Shift V. So it's uh, paste in the same place and then it detects it as a different shape and uh, which is separate from the rest of the word. So now I can use this shape and the rectangle to intersect and this I'm gonna alt click and drag to copy holding shift so it's in the same height and right click on the right uh, on the outside uh, bounding box and transform, reflect, vertical. And there I have it. Uh, the other side. And make sure they join at the right place, right point. And maybe the bottom one needs to go a bit more to the right. So like this one and goes to the right so it's parallel to the other lines of the uh, on the top slanting edges this one as well a little bit looks about right